What's up, it's your boy, Mr. Meeseeks, and today we're talking about, again, another video about um, video games. Uh, bear with me, people who don't play video games, but I wanted to talk about a simple thing that's been happening a lot lately with certain companies, and that's longevity in games and how they make them. There's perfect examples of this that I hate. It's just The Division, uh, Wildlands, all coming from Ubisoft when you think about it. And then you got the new one that really kind of made me want to make this video, which was the new uh, announcement of Destiny 2. And the reason why I didn't like this is because Destiny was not what they advertised. Destiny was a game that was supposed to last them 10 years. It was it was marketed as a 10-year game. You should be able to play it for 10 years. I couldn't play it for 3 months, let alone maybe a month. The game was repetitive, a lot of grinding, nothing really interesting in it by, by day 1. On day one, on day one is when they disappointed everybody. Whether or not they go in and fix all the patches, that's not what the game's about. If you're going to release a game, you release a game. Don't have 20, 30 patches to make the game playable again. Or at all. So, the problem there is that, you know, games like Destiny, when I played, um, even The Division... They came out falling a little flat from what they were advertised, especially when there was such a long wait for it to come out, and there was nothing to it. There was a just repetitiveness of just the same shit over and over and over again, and that's grinding and the constant things. The Division and, and Destiny reminded me both of Borderlands. Problem is, Borderlands was funny, interesting, and it had uh, beautiful worlds to it. If I wanted to explore New York in a you know, desolate wasteland, I would just go to New York. That's not a cheap shot, I'm just saying in general. New York is New York. And and you're not really doing anything in the game besides sightseeing. My point is, is that if you're going to sell a game for $60, it better be worth the fucking time you put in there. It should last you longer than the actual time it was took to be made. You take an example like Overwatch, it's competitive. You can constantly play different games, different moments will happen that won't happen every other time. Or right now I've been playing Rainbow Six Siege, which is constantly a, a, a game is changing and evolving over and over again with different stuff happening. You might have a different game today than you do tomorrow because it's a multiplayer competitive game. But when it comes to single player games or even games that are both hybrids of the two where they have, can be both uh, single player and multiplayer if you have no friends around, they need to have more volume to it and more stuff to do when it comes to having fun. I guess the main problem for developers is the fact they need to find a thing to keep single players busy while they have to do multiplayer or before they do multiplayer. Because there's games like GTA that had the online that came out, and in that, you had to do a tutorial and learn how to play online. When really, it's just like, let me just get out there and just kill whoever I feel like, and just fuck with people. I don't know. Th that's just a main thing I want to say. Um, I guess if there's games that you need to find to enjoy, or if you don't have game systems that you want to play, um, there's games like Overwatch, it's more cartoony compared to the other game I would advise, which is uh, Rainbow Six Siege, and more realistic more, um, you know, tactical shooter, and, um, I'm trying to think of some other games I play that, that are fun over and over again. GTA Online is always fun, uh, Viva Pinata is a great game to play over and over again, and, um, I don't know, I guess, I guess that's it right now, since what I've been playing. The main point I want to get across is don't play Destiny, don't even play Destiny 2. Right now, they've completely shitted on their, their fan base, and said, hey, there's uh, nothing we're really going to do besides put out a second one. And that's what I hate, the fact that they're going to put this game out, have it do awful, have it no no time involved whatsoever, and they're going to say, oh, well, number two's coming out, so it's all good. No, fuck you. I'm done. Which is essentially just Halo, but multiplayer. And a lot of grinding. I hate grinding. I don't even use grinder. Okay, that's it. But, uh, I don't know, there's not much else as far as single player that can really blow you away, um, that has multiplayer as well, that's great. Um, but if you guys have uh, suggestions for games that people should play, leave them in the comments. And also, as always, for the next comment, or the next, uh, in my opinion, introduction name, leave in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.